the Mac Minute. This week, we're going to kind of continue down where we kind of left off last week with the mail, but in a little bit of different subject, we're going to talk about contacts. So if you're coming from a PC platform, you're probably used to having contacts built into your mail client. And in the Mac, it isn't, isn't that way, unless you're using something like the Outlook client from Windows, uh, from Microsoft, I'm sorry. And it does have contacts built in. It is very much like the Outlook that you use on a PC. But if you're using the free native mail clients that come with the Apple, the contacts aren't not built into the actual mail client itself. There's a separate contacts application. So today we're going to talk about that contacts application. So it looks like at the bottom has an uh, at sign on it and it looks like a phone book or a tabbed book. And that's your contacts down at the bottom right here. So go ahead and click on this and it comes up and you go see contacts. So there's, because I last week or two weeks ago, whenever it was I set up the mail client, to Yahoo, it pulled in my contacts from Yahoo. So you're going to see this populated with my contacts from my Yahoo account. And it will, it will also con, uh, populate if you use Exchange uh, as a mail connector inside of mail. So it still works very similar as far as sharing the same data. It just it's in a separate program. So very basically, it's all the contacts that are on my Mac, which I only have one, the Mac Minute contact, which is me. And you actually see it has it's the default one because it has the Apple phone number right here and the Apple logo and their address as well. But if I go look at my Yahoo, you'll see all my Yahoo contacts come up. And I can scroll through these and I get all my Yahoo contacts. Now, if I go click on, say I had an exchange on here, which I could do to demonstrate this, I could click on all contacts and I would see address all my address books from all my mail locations and my Mac all combined in one big list, which makes it easy to find things. So. Getting around in the mail client, actually, or in the contacts client, is very easy. Click on the plus sign, obviously, to add a new contact. And you see right over here, it's asking you for information. First name, last name. If they're a company related, you can actually put in a photo for them. Uh, and their mobile, their home, and you can change these to be other different phone numbers as well. Uh, it goes down to their a web page, any notes, and even IM contacts. And this information all goes, if you have an I device, like an iPhone or iPad, it goes shared with that as well. So if you add a photo here for somebody, you're going to see it show up on your iPhone or your iPad as well. So editing is actually just as easy. If you click on a, a person, there's a button down here at the bottom and it says edit. And it goes into the same screen, very similar to what we had before. And the only thing you're gonna notice a little bit different is these negative signs and these are deletes. So if you want to delete this address, you would click on this negative sign and it would get rid of that address. Or if you want to change it, you obviously just click in here and you can change it. That is really all there is to this client. There are some options for how you view your clients thing at the bottom. So this is no sidebar. So you don't see your, if you're like in all contacts all the time, you can turn off that sidebar just like that. And if you want just the details of one person, you can just click on it just like that. Um, the other thing is, you'll notice down here, if you want to forward somebody's contact information, there is a share current card, and you can either email it, message it, or airdrop it. And then we'll talk about airdrop in another episode completely because it's a feature of a lot of the new Macs, but the older Macs don't have them. So we will talk about airdrop. But you could do either one. Typically, you email a contact to somebody. Somebody needs their information, and you email it to them. And that's how quickly you can do that. That really is all there is to using contacts. It's confusing to some people because it's not in mail. They get into the mail client and they can't find it. And the mail client does use these contacts. You, as you start typing somebody's name, it will populate it on the screen. That's how you um, get it out of the contacts program. All right, that's it for Mac Minute this week. We'll see you next week.